Hi, my name is Mike and in today's video I've got a dream to share that I've received from God um, on the 16th of March uh, last night. Um, I asked God for a dream about anything that I need to share with my brothers and sisters and that very night I had a dream from God. I saw the sky sort of dark and I saw um, a large asteroid with a smaller asteroid next to it. Um, you might remember that a few months ago, actually, I asked God for a dream and I had the same dream of a large asteroid and a smaller asteroid coming down with it. The larger asteroid was coming first and the smaller asteroid was following behind it. So it's exactly the same dream I had um, a couple, about a month or so ago and I'll leave a link to that to, uh, dream as well so yeah I was like surprised um, I had exactly the same dream a bigger asteroid and a smaller asteroid coming down and I could see it was dark and I could see the fire behind uh, the asteroid as it came down I didn't see where it hit but I could see the impact damage I could see that um, it was very bad devastation, a world-changing devastation. And then I heard a sound like thunder. It was so loud, it was like a worldwide thunder. You know, after lightning, the thunder, whack, it was so loud. And then the whole world, whole world, started to shake. It was so real, I could see people stumbling and falling over due to the shaking worldwide. And then I said these words three times in my dream. This is the words I, I said three times in my dream. I will shake the heavens and the earth. I will shake the heavens and the earth. I will shake the heavens and the earth. So I said it three times. Then the dream ended. I want to share some scriptures now uh, that uh, correspond to this dream. Haggai and... Um, uh, I forgot exactly what I put down, Haggai. Uh, this is what the Lord Almighty says. In a little while, I will once more shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land. Isaiah 13, 13. Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth. Sorry, I will, therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts and the day of his fierce anger. Luke 21, 26, men's hearts failing them for fear and expectation of those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Hebrews 12, 26, at that time his voice shook the earth, but now he has promised once more, I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. Ezekiel 38, 20, the fish in the sea the birds in the sky, the beasts in the field, every creature that moves along the ground and all the people on the face of the earth will tremble at my presence. The mountains will be overturned, the cliffs will crumble and every wall will fall to the ground. Um, also, um, Revelation 6, 12 to 17, the sixth seal. I believe this is a sixth seal event. Is not the same asteroid as the uh, trumpet blasts. This asteroid causes the worldwide earthquake. Um, let me just read Revelation 6, 12 to 17. And I beheld when he opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell onto the earth, even as a fig tree cast on tiny figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it was rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man hid themselves in dens and in rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sit on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? Anyway, I'll leave it there and say, anyone out there hasn't come to Lord Jesus, please do some prayer repentance. God bless you all. Bye-bye.